I like killing sprees as much as the next guy, but we barely got out of there alive. What about Gamora? She, she made a choice. So you're just gonna abandon her? And Nikki? What if it was Groot? You gonna leave him behind too? I am Groot. Don't talk like that. That's not what this is about. Isn't it though? We're supposed to be a team. Teams don't leave people behind. Tell that to the giant Kratakan army of robots and brainwashed believers we barely got away from! Gamora! Is that...? Yes. How'd you get back? It doesn't matter. I failed. Raker lives. For now. We have to go back. We can't leave Nikki there. What he'll turn her into. Blah, blah, flark and blah. So you got stepdaddy issues and had a horrible childhood. Ooh, rocket! What? It's true. Guess what? You ain't the only one here who had it bad. It don't mean we're angling to commit suicide because some pseudo priest nutjob is doing surprise nutjob stuff. If we go back there, we're dead. D E D, dead. What is your group? I'd rather die with honor than without. Crawled up her butt and died. I am good. So, get the Flark out of Dodge? Not yet. We should try to get a hold of Cosmo instead. I am good. Great plan, only he ain't answering the passport. Okay, but what choice do we have? We don't have comms. Well, actually, we uh, might have comms. It turns out they weren't as Flarked as I originally thought. Really? Groot should be able to raise him. Okay. Sounds like Murder Mom's feeling more stabby than usual. Hey! Better not slice through anything in that cargo bay! We ain't restocking anytime soon! You all right there, Drax? I am pondering that question. And that makes total sense. After what happened with Nikki and that twisted promise, having to watch the people we love die all over again. My family did not simply die. They were murdered by Thanos. I think I'm... I do not wish to discuss it. Shoo, shoo, move over. What are you looking at? Oh no. You ain't chewing through any more of my ship. My ship? Shoot! Flark off! Wow, that panel must have looked really tasty. What's it for, anyways? Emergency door controls for the ship. Something a ship owner should know. Hey, do I look like an engineer? You don't. What are you working on, Rocket? Uh, just Quill and I don't need to make up. Maybe when Quill makes the right call and cool. How soon can we try it out? Uh, depends on how long you're gonna stand there. But <sighs> if I had a unit for every minute of my time you waste with your flarkin' ideas. Watch Hey! Gamora! Go away, Peter. Come on. Just thought I'd check in. That was some pretty heavy stuff you said earlier. Wanna talk about it? I don't need a pep talk. Okay. All right. No talking. Let's sing it out. What? Oh, oh, oh. who's the hunter? Who's the game? You feel the beat, 
call your name. Come on, I know you know this one. I hold you close in victory. I don't want to tame your animal style. You won't be caged in the call of the wild. Come on, sing it! Shooting at the walls of... Shooting at the walls of heartache. Bang, bang. I, I am, am the warrior. warrior. Well, I am the warrior. warrior, and heart to heart you <laughs> win. <laughs> See? Just singing. All right. I like that one. Gets me every time. What did you want to talk about? Want to talk about the guy whose arm you just ripped off? There's nothing to talk about. You chopped his arm off. And that's all I did. He's still out there, with Nikki manipulating her with a slick lies and flarked up promises. Making everybody think... <sighs> we can't bring them back. Who did you see? In your promise? Got a feeling it wasn't Thanos. No one. Nothing. It was just a lie. Which is why we need to stop it. Right. I'm working on that. Just... Try not to slash the cargo bay in half. Could you move? I bet Groot has a rich, velvety voice. According to this, the collector... Oh! Hey, Rocket, Groot, sup? What are you doing snooping through Groot's scut, Quill? I am Groot. Well, maybe you should mind. Whoa, 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 guys. Groot, I, I didn't mean to invade your space. Seriously, I would never do that. I was just curious about this report thingy I found. <laughs> yeah, the report thingy that just so happens to bring up a lot of painful memories for Groot. Real smooth, Quill. I am Groot. It's not fine. The Collector kept you in a frickin' cage like some... some kind of animal. As if it weren't bad enough you lost your entire planet. I am Groot. Fine. Groot says he'll answer your stupid questions. What happened to your homeworld? I am Groot. You never told me that. I am Groot. What did he say? He says the Shatari blew it up with a, an experimental doomsday device. Holy crap. That's awful. I am Groot. Ain't the worst part, Quill. Groot says after Planet X was blown up, the other branch worlds mobilized. But they weren't no match for the Shatari and also got destroyed. I am. Far as he knows, he's the last of his kind. Oh, Groot. I'm sorry. I don't know what I'd do if Earth was destroyed, if I was the last human. I am Groot. He says it's not so bad. He's got us. How'd you end up with the Collector in the first place? How do you think? He stole Groot. I am Groot. Fine, you tell it. I am Groot. He says the Collector found him at the start of the war, in the wreckage of his planet. Holy crap. But just a piece, a splinter. The rest got destroyed like everyone else. Just a splinter? Does this mean you can't die? <laughs> I am Groot. He can still die. But he ain't gonna, cause I ain't gonna let him. <laughs> I'll replant you a million times if I gotta. So, how'd the Collector find you? I am Groot. A drone found him, dormant in space. Guess old Piven scours the galaxy for new specimens. I am Groot. Slavery ain't the same as saving. I am Groot. He insists the Collector saved him by planting him, and also keeping him in a DAS cage until I stole him, 
Hence the stupid Flarkin report. Is it still active, the report? Will the Collector come collecting? You see any gold domes around lately? Fair enough. I know we don't talk a lot, group, for, you know, obvious reasons. <laughs> but I can't imagine this team without you. I can't change the past, but I can't commit to making the future better. I am He says he knows, and he's grateful. One whole arm. That's what? 10% of Raker down? And I say we leave the other 90% alone. Can't say I ain't glad I get to dissect this little marvel. But that's as close as I'm getting to this Flarkin cult ever again. Anything yet? I'm good. Guardian of Galaxies. Cosmo, buddy, where have you been? We've been calling you. Sorry, Pyotr Quill. Cosmo's ball has been tied. Universal Church of Truth arrive at nowhere. What? Are you okay? He's fine for a moment. Cosmo receive warning in time. But Continuum Cortex is of shutdown for safety. He's been dead, huh? Your little detective trip almost got us killed. We'll fill you in when we get there. Net. This problem is bigger than Cosmo. Guardian of Galaxies must go to Xandar and ask World Mind for help instead. Cosmo unable to get through. Guardian of Galaxies must actually. Cosmo, are you there? What happened? I am Groot. These are the cowards who defile Lady Hellbender's honor. Oh, good. And who the flark are you? Normally, I would not engage in conversation with inferior life forms. But my contract with Lady Hellbender stipulates otherwise. Therefore, abomination. You may refer to me by my title. I am Captain Glory, leader of the Lethal Legion. A uh, lethal legion? Uh, more like loser legion. <laughs> he surrounded us. Listen, I get that Lady Hellbender's super pissed, but now's really not the best time. Did you think that she would ease her bounty simply because you somehow managed to elude the Blood Brothers in nowhere? Yes. Then you are as imbecilic as they are. You will not elude me. That I can assure you. Just need a few minutes. Stall him, Quill. Why? Where are you going? Did you mute me? I am good. What? I am so, Lethal Legion. Cool merc name. I used to run with the Ravagers myself. We are far superior to you. Ravagers, Terran scum. The Lethal Legion is composed of the best warriors the universe has ever seen. And to me. Hey, look. I get it. You're the best of the best. You're the captain of a super elite team. I'm the captain of a... elite team. Some of us are super elite. You are nothing like me. I am Glavri of the Kree Empire. My birthright alone supersedes any sense of worth you foolishly believe you possess. Spoken like a true Kree. <laughs> More like an arrogant a-hole. Enough! I will not be disrespected. You will be eliminated. Give it your best shot, Helmet Head. The Milano's gonna blow you out of the sky. <laughs> your ship doesn't have that kind of firepower. Scan again. Possible. Just a little something we picked up in the uh, quarantine zone. Looks like you underestimated us. 
you've been bragging about? What do you mean? <laughs> Nothing. It's well, I'm sure it's very comfortable. Then do something about it. That did some real damage. Keep hitting his exhaust ports. Your strategy will work. Thanks. You just confirmed that it will. Moron. Protect our points. This guy's starting to sound like rocket. It's called language efficiency, Quill. Stay in there, Cap. Stay still, and I'll show you. Feel bad, Guardians? Nope, not a thing. The Milano definitely felt it. Lady Skull shoot us the worst block in timing. Is she here? Just her goons. This time. Ooh. Right up the exhaust port! Keep up the barrage. They will not survive it. No. I am Glory, Warrior of... <laughs> Take that, Lady Skull Scut! I doubt we've seen the last of her. We'll worry about Lady Hellbender later. Let's just focus on getting to Xandar. Punch it! Yep. Old girl needs a tune-up. We can do it once we reach the station. I ain't letting no bucket head near my... Wow. Talk about cosmic gridlock. I haven't seen this many ships around Xandar since the start of the Galactic War. Open the channel, Groot. Let's see what's going on. I can't believe our skies are yellow. Need access to facilities. These ships come from converted worlds. They're refugees. Need immediate docking permission. Please answer us. Groot, that's enough. I don't see any rescue shuttles coming out. They're ignoring them. No. No, 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 no. Nova Corps might be a bunch of self-righteous dome heads, but they're they're supposed to be helping folk. That's their whole flark and deal. Relax, Rocket. We'll just call the station and ask to speak to the world mind. Groot. Welcome to Nova Corps headquarters. Please state your preferred language of communication. I know, bud, but now we can all follow along with Star Pants' mistakes. How, How may we assist you? After scanning your ship, our near perfect algorithms pre selected several officer choices. The allocation of resources for direct communication with us has been denied. We apologize for the inconvenience. Well, it was worth a shot. Let's try something else. Just pick something, Peter. We should report what Raker is up to. Think the Flarkin world mind doesn't already know? Maybe not oh, every. Flark, you! We, we are, are aware of the current threat, but, but can devote no, no resources toward fighting it. Congratulations on your decision to join the Corps. To, to begin, begin, state your full name, designation, or serial number. Richard Ryder. Starlord. Quill's mom! This strategy is futile. Ah, oh, come on, muscle brain. It might work. <laughs> Not today. Nope. Please state your celestial body. Or artificial installation of origin. Someplace. Earth. Earth. I continue to doubt this strategy. Sheesh. Yeah, maybe it won't work, but look at this scut. It's hot. Finally, Finally, in a few words, describe, describe what made you want to join Nova Corps. Because I'm a sucker. Justice. Looks like the best AI in the world can parse that. Good job, no boys. Touching. 
All right, so that was fun, but a complete waste of time. Any other ideas? Groot wants you to pick World Mine. Cadet Nicolette Gold's communication privileges are suspended while we investigate her involvement in unsanctioned cult activity. You should force your spawn to answer us. I can't do that. She's independent. Scroll down! Scroll down! Hey! Your cop girlfriend is still listed here. You should, uh... Rocket! Oh, right. Centurion Corel's personal communicator has either been destroyed or disabled and could not be reached. For what it's worth, I'm sorry, Quill. Me too. Hey, Woolberry, got any ideas? How about future crime? This menu again? <gasps> Scroll back up! I think I saw someone interesting. Nova number 11249-44396 is out of our sensor range and unavailable for contact. Richard Ryder. Sounds Terran. You seriously don't know who he is? Does that say Nova Prime? Any idea which one? Corbin Day is missing in action and, and unable, unable to respond. I've heard of him. He was in the Resistance. So much for near-perfect algorithms, helpline. Peter, I think everyone here is too busy or dead to answer. Perhaps we should try another menu. Nova Prime's identity is confidential, and communication with them is forbidden until further notice. Huh. Doesn't say which one. Why even list them, then? We are sad to inform you that Denarian Carlos is currently missing and assumed dead. Hey, isn't this that Buckethead we killed on the rock? We definitely did not murder him and definitely did not admit in front of a Nova Corps console rocket. What do you mean the past crime button looks lonely? Thank, Thank you for being proactive. However, the galaxy's impending doom makes all future crimes irrelevant. We should tell them about the promise. Right, as if none of these other ships ain't already blasting about it all over the comms. I can't believe that worked. Gardeners of the galaxy, explain, explain yourselves. Hey, world mind, long time no see. It's me, Peter Quill, Star-Lord. And, uh, it's Guardians of the Galaxy. Check the addendum. We need your help. To you pay a fine? No. No, of course not. You need to save the, the galaxy. galaxy. cannot be saved, Peter Quill. What? A mass delusion known as the Promise is sweeping, sweeping its systems, converting, converting all who encounter it. In less than, than three cycles, it, it has spread, spread from the crew of a single star frigate to multiple outposts, worlds, and systems. Praxis 9, Rigel 3. 75.222% of the Andromeda galaxy, galaxy, all lost. Of course, she don't mention Contraxia. They, actually, the world mine is a collective consciousness. Look. We know who's behind the promise. We've seen it happening up close and personal. We're here to pass on information to you so you can stop it. How can we be more clear? The Universal Church of Truth cannot be stopped. Told you, they're a collective. It is a machine. Yeah, well, so are parts of me. And you better not call me in it. It can be stopped. Maybe not by us, but you're a war hero. You defeated the Shatari 12 years ago. The Resistance and its allies defeated the Shatari, not us alone. And not before the Shatari had destroyed our homeworld and decimated our people. Yeah, I don't like it either, bud. Should have run when we had the chance. We have already processed 12,472,865 combat scenarios. The current probability of defeating the Universal Church of Truth is 0.3%. That is a big number. Is that bad? It sounds bad. It is. Now, 
if you will excuse us. The Universal Church of Truth's forces draw closer to this region of space. It is critical that we depart before they arrive. You're running away? What about the refugees? You're just gonna leave them defenseless? Our primary directive is the preservation of Xandarian culture. All else is secondary. <laughs> Have you seen what your planet looks like? Zendarian culture is a lost cause! Culture, culture is more than a location. But you're Nova Corps' leader. You have a duty to protect this galaxy. That, that is incorrect. You ain't the leader of the Bucketheads? We do, we do not, not have a duty to protect this galaxy. galaxy. We, we merely police it to get advanced knowledge of potential threats. Serve and protect only yourselves. A logical byproduct of our primary directive. directive. You have officers all over the galaxy laying down their lives for you. And you won't even risk fighting for their sake? The risk is too great. It, it would be, be a pointless, pointless sacrifice. For unknown reasons. The church is stockpiling resources. Its influence has grown beyond all probabilistic models. Then update your models. We can adjust our computations to the enemy's nonsensical power source. You mean faith energy? Faith, as an energy source, is logical. We are unable to compute scenarios to fight that which should not exist. So you're just gonna let the church win? If the power source cannot be quantified, it, it cannot can be, be countered. countered. Most sentient beings don't have the luxury of calculating their odds before getting into a fight. That is why they fail. You're scared. Yeah, you met a math problem that you don't understand and you're running away from it. Fear is an emotional reaction. Disputable. We do not experience emotion, therefore we cannot be afraid. Why are you running then? Our primary directive is the preservation of- Yeah, yeah, bleep, bloop, bloop. Thought you were a class G super intelligence, not an infinite loop. We recognize that you are displeased with our decision to leave. However, your emotional state is not our primary concern. We did we not, not make this decision without considering all available options. A complete search of our databanks only revealed a single entity with the potential to stop them. What is it? Not what. Who? Adam Warlock. The Church's original Golden God. Unfortunately, he perished in the last year of the Galactic War. Great. So, no one? We are, we are pleased you reached the same conclusion we did. It appears that our travel preparations are almost complete. Farewell, Guardians of the Galaxy. No, 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 wait! Classic Nova Corps. Ain't helped us then, you won't help us now. What? Are you kidding me? Groot says the Flarkin helpline's still asking for fine money. All right, let's get this over with. Confirm payment. Oh, what? Whole universe is about to end, and you spend our cash on a Novacore fine. Look, dude, the church is about to come for all of us. Once that disabler goes off, we'll be sitting ducks. All right, at least we got that sorted. Let's get out of here. Peter, we've got movement. I'm Groot. They're taking off. Jump, Quill. I know. Petro's promise is becoming real. Peter? Go! 
Gotta get clear first. Come on. And go! What did you do? I don't know. Why have we stopped? The Loser Legion must have hit something when they ambushed us. I am Groot. Guys, it's only a matter of time before the galaxy accepts the promise. Sacrosanct is back there. We can't just sit here. Guys. And how are we going to do that? We're dead in the flock and water. And if they find us, we're screwed. Freely accepted. Oh, yeah. And without an engine, we're screwed Guys, anyway. guys, guys, guys. Enough. Just stop already. I can't hear myself think. Rocket, fix the engines. How am I supposed to do that? I can't even run a diagn- I don't care! Just fix it! Scoff. And what are we supposed to do? I don't know, okay? I can't just conjure up answers every two seconds. Fine. Don't. I just... can't do this right now. <sighs> I need some rest. Screw Nova Corps. Shouldn't have counted on them in the first place. Drax, I, uh... I do not wish to talk. Fair enough. We're all pretty spent, just... Try to get some rest if you can. Look, it's our great leader. Hey. Here to yell at me some more? What? No. I really don't feel like small talk. You forgot your toast. You Groody. Hey, how's it looking? How does it look like it's looking? Well, I... Tension circuit melted through the stem bolts, reverse ratcheting routing planers out of alignment, can't even see the Flarkin sensor node behind the flux capacitor. Flux capacitors are real? What? No, I mean flow capacitor. Words get a little messed up when I'm tired. Hey, Groot. Did you ever find the pack of slacking clamps I lost under your fern? I don't know, a fern looking fern. Why would I check the leaf underside? What? Oh, uh. Yeah. Strange thing to collect. And I collect some pretty weird stuff. Oh, uh. <laughs> it's. It's not like that. I found him in the quarantine zone and I just. Kept them. Why? <sighs> I don't know. As a reminder of who I used to be, how I got here, it's... It's stupid. Not... Necessarily. You want to talk about it? I don't know if you know this, but my dad is kind of the king of Spartax. I know. You do? I mean, you do. Of course you do. You're you. Yeah. And it's not exactly a secret. It's what I would have done. Kidnap the progeny of a powerful leader to control them. I mean, Hala knows how long they kept you. Except that it was for the express purpose of keeping the Spartoi Empire from joining the Resistance. Four years. What? Four years. That's how long they had me. Four Earth years. And a few days. I'm sorry. 
Don't be. For a long time, I thought my dad would come get me. Raise an army, send in spies to break me out, something. But he didn't. Guess it wasn't politically advantageous. Fathers suck sometimes. Trust me. At least your dad wanted you. Even after the war, Mai wouldn't see me. One, want is a nice way of saying kidnapped. Make no mistake, Peter. You're not the only one who was stolen from their home. And two, you went to Spartax? Even had a speech worked out and everything. Hey, Dad. It's me. Your son you left to rot in a Shatari prison? It was that or punch him. I was undecided. Still am. Getting into the White House would have been easier. White House? Basically, my dad loves bureaucratic bullcrap. I thought being his only son would be enough to get me an audience. Turns out I needed an appointment. The Spartoi Empire was in political shambles after the Galactic War. He was too busy to see his kid? Yeah, I got the message loud and clear. I lost everything I ever loved because of him, and he wouldn't even look me in the eye. I'm so sorry, Peter. Don't be, I just... Mm, really want to punch him. Ever been to Shatari Prime? More times than I care to admit. Then you know what it's like. How they're like. The scritching, scratching, hissing. Reptilian stuff of nightmares. Oh yeah. Hard to forget. I've seen some pretty messed up movies, but nothing came close to what it was like living on Shatari Prime. I was just a kid. I didn't even know aliens were real until they showed up in my backyard. <laughs> and now? And now you're surrounded by aliens. There aren't a lot of humans out here. Sure, there's a few of us kicking around. Richard Ryder. Right. That guy. Might as well be an alien. Point is, I'm pretty much alone. All because the Shatari saw me as a valuable asset. Not just the Shatari. Thanos. Of course, your dad was pulling the strings. I think I'd almost rather Thanos over those lizards. I can promise you that Thanos would not have been the better option. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, do you know what the Shatari do to their prisoners? The unvaluable ones? They throw them into an arena and make them fight monsters. They take bets. Sabotage favored prisoners by breaking a leg or an arm. All of it for their messed up insect entertainment. You survived, Peter. Men stronger than Drax have been slaughtered in those arenas. You lived. Yeah, I survived all right. It was a bargaining chip. Would you have preferred death? I don't know. Back then, maybe. Now, not so much. Then be glad you made it out at all. Helen knows I'm glad you did. Anyway, it doesn't matter now. Yeah, I guess. Gamora. Hey. Is that... Corral's Galactic War Commendation? Yeah. I rescued it from her office. I was planning to give it back to her until... No one could have predicted that Corral was dead. Or that... Or that she might be my kid. That... She's gonna... Do you even want... Do you wanna... Corel never. What? <laughs> it's we had them along. Uh, Look, when you leave. Yeah. You look, the yeah. I already took an In hell. And in it was that. I think we see the fight. Nothing. Yeah. Really? How? Come on, girl. Shoo, shoo. <laughs> And the bed smells. Great.
We have a ship. This is our room. Why is it so small? Look at you. Me. Who? Weird hair. What? What is it? What is this? How are you? Me. Come on. The talking raccoon's waiting for you. Everybody is. Uh, Rocket. Yeah, he was fixing that thing that broke. Hey, if we're some kind of big space hero now, why are we running from the bad guys? Uh, it's complicated. No, it's not. Stop running. And we've landed. Uh. <sighs> Groot wanted to let you sleep. Can you believe it? Oh, how long was I out? Long enough to fly us all the way to the quarantine zone. Wait, how do we fly out here? Quill, do you want to fix your ship or not? My ship! Yes, your ship. Come on, the others are outside. There, let's go! Who stumbled out of bed? The rodent made decisions in your sleep. Yeah, yeah, I know. Took you long enough. What? Nikki? I'm not supposed to be here. You promised you would get me out of here. I know, but. <sighs> Nikki! Freaking... 